While the open top C class looks compact and muscular, the E class cabriolets straight, unbroken lines give it a more elegant, almost Italian esque aspect. There is quite a bit more rear seat space than in either the preceding generation E or today's C class cabrio, so even extended journeys should pose no problem for rear seat occupants. When the multi layer roof is raised, it isolates the interior so well that the difference from the coupe is barely perceptible. The new car's dashboard transfers directly from the sedan with one important change, the cabriolet, like the e-coupe, comes with metallic air vents resembling jet turbines, which aren't used in the sedan. Further differentiation stems from distinct leather colors and light-colored open core wood decor not offered in the sedan. Part of the point of this test drive in Arizona is finding out how well these new materials hold up when subjected to the southwestern climate. We weren't allowed behind the wheel at all, but judging from our passenger seat vantage, the cabrio chassis seems remarkably stiff and responsive to Fru's staring inputs. Agility is not a traditional strength of the mid-size Mercedes-Benz, but our impression is that the new cabriolet will be every bit as responsive as the sedan, although its primary mission is to be more comfortable than the soft-top C-Class. Expect to see the E-Class Cabriolet revealed at the Geneva Auto Show in March and in dealerships late this year. The E-Class, it seems to us, could be a relaxed and elegant choice among luxury drop-tops. We look forward to getting behind the wheel in a few months.